what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new supercard video if you guys do enjoy hit the like that like button subscribe to the channel we got season six launch day wednesday probably have a video up on thursday and stream of course thursday if you, if you guys haven't already subscribed or unsubscribe come back resubscribe we are coming back live again this week in supercard so guys, I just got back to New York last night. Uh, it was a great experience being in Baltimore. Uh, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> the town was eh. I'm not a big fan of Baltimore. It wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, New York compared to Baltimore is like, woo. But uh, I must say, uh, having to be at full gear with uh, Kill Moose Kill all, all weekend was amazing experience. Uh, being front row as well was an amazing experience as well. Uh, crazy stuff. I got hit in the knee by my barricade when Adam Hangman Page threw Pac into the barricade. So my knee got smacked on the side. And those barricades are freaking heavy. They freaking weigh a ton. So having that hit my knee was not a pleasant experience. I didn't think it would push all the way, but it did. So it, that hit the crap of my knee. So it was a little eh for a few hours. Uh, then uh, Christopher Daniels, when he threw the steel chair outside the ring, unfortunately, it went outside and it hit my foot so i thought it would only be fair to take a picture with the chair which was kind of, it's on twitter if you guys want to see it so yeah and the first hour and a half i got hit in the knee i got hit in this in the foot with a steel chair uh what else could possibly go wrong i probably will be paralyzed by the time uh, john moxley and kenny omega hit the stage lucky for me they were the main event uh but and then uh, when he was setting up the table, Kenny Omega said hi to me. And he also said hi to the other people that were there, too. He was like, oh, what's up, man? And he obviously wanted me to move because they were going to do a spot. Unfortunately, it took like 15 more minutes after the table was set up to do the spot. So I had to stand for 15 minutes, which I had no mind because everyone else behind me was standing. So fuck it. I was like blocking anyone's view. But uh, when he uh, jumped over the thing and broke the table and I'm, I had my elbow on the barricade, I did not realize it hit my elbow as well. And, uh, and they just caused another pain in my elbow. So obviously, guys, front row experience is amazing. However, you could feel a little bit of fuckery. And that table was real and everything. Uh, even when they put the glass in the ring, the glass shattered and went into the crowd and hit me and Moose, I believe. It uh, hit me for sure. It hit me like on the, on the, where my jacket was, thankfully. Not in my eyes or my face. But we got hit by uh, glass. So overall, amazing experience. I got, to, I got my... Uh, remember the chair as well amazing experience i would never trade it actually one of my i think my number one experience in wrestling today over wrestlemania 29 34 35 uh, but yeah great experience so and thank you all for the, your videos and photos that you guys took of me and moose because we were like on the pay-per-view like 20 plus times because they were always showing us on camera so big shout out to all you guys for uh watching us on camera but let's get into the supercar stuff today Season 6 is releasing on Wednesday. Today, a few lucky content creators got to release their stuff. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of those lucky content creators because I'm not PG, so it's totally understandable. However, my dad, Big Dude, has gave me permission to react to his things. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing is reacting to Big Dude's pack opening and stuff like that. Looking at the cards, uh, my thought on Fortify and all that other stuff. So let's go check out what season six has to offer for us. Here is our little preview that I did I did take from Biggie Dude. I'm giving him all the credit. Thank you, Dad, as well, for letting me share this with my viewers. If you guys aren't subscribed to Biggie Dude, go check him out. Amazing guy, amazing friend of mine. Uh unmute me on Twitter. <clears throat> Love you, Dad. <laughs> so let's get into it. Alright, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and speed through this. Uh be pausing at time. So as you can see here. The TVG BP store is going to be a primal single. Obviously, we all knew this was coming uh, for 22. So at the start, if you do have 100K, like most people should, if you unless you bought the Velveteen car bag, which I totally told everyone not to recommend, this is obviously the way you, you could buy four primal cards or you could buy five nightmare cards. Uh, honestly, if I were you guys, I would obviously go with the primal as your cards you give get four promo cards and if you also have tbg saved up you might be able to get a fifth one it is possible but the odds are meh um 
so yeah these will be the tbg points for this stuff uh and uh, let's, let's go ahead and check out the cards there will be a gobbly gooker quest as well at the start where you can even fortify it but uh, my dad is going to show me his ticket stuff now he's in primal tier when he's doing this so i'm not sure if you're going to need to be in primal tier to do this maybe you need to be primal tier but we got vanguard we got SummerSlam 19 to Vanguards here, and then you also get a SummerSlam 19 to Primal, which honestly is good odds. I think a lot of people who have 500 tickets hit up, I'm not one of those people, I've only got like 125. But uh, for all the people who have 500 tickets, this would help them if they can't buy packs, which I could totally understand. So let's go ahead and check out the pack opening right now. Uh, that is the Primal back. I think the Primal cards look gorgeous. I actually do like the Indiana Jones type of theme. Uh, a lot of people say this is their worst one to me. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Nightmare one. I like the images on Nightmare, but I'm not a fan of the background. Like, super crazy. I would say it's the weakest. I think my favorite will be Vanguard, in my honest opinion. Because it's just perfect card with angel wings. I really thought it would be, like, warrior-themed when I heard Vanguard. But lucky for us, it's more angel-themed. So, I think these card designs look freaking amazing. All right, so we're going to continue with the pack opening now. Uh, so I'm just going to watch everything. Uh, try to speed it up. Try not to make this video super, super long. Because uh, this video is like 20 minutes long. So I don't want to make it super crazy. I just want to show you guys some of the cards. If you guys haven't seen it. Uh, we got Lens Dorado. Nice, nice. We've got Siri Seen Summer Slams. So I'm going to speed it up the best way I can. Natalia looks great. And then there's a Kalisto, which is JV's favorite card in the world. I like that. I love that Natty picture, actually. And that's another cool feature. You can actually now lock the card when you pack it. There's Charlotte Flair, but I think we've all seen an image like that of Charlotte Flair before. So it's like, eh, nothing crazy about the Charlotte Flair image. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dad is just speed rolling this. We got Naomi. I think this one is Cameron Grimes for NXT. Uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome card. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, Nightmare is not my favorite design. Uh, I don't know why Primal is not getting a little bit of love. I think Primal looks fantastic. But of course, uh, the Angel Wings uh, Vanguard is just fantastic. Rusev looks good. Fantastic. All right. Let's get into... Uh, I'm going to try to get like, a little bit of everything in this video for you guys. Uh, we got another Nightmare Andrade. And then, of course, we got Billy Kay. I think we've all seen that image of Billy Kay, but eh, okay. Nice image of Andrade, for sure. Give him that, I'll give him that. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's keep going. About library saying, Ed, activate your windows. I'm freaking lazy, stop asking me. Eric, not bad card, not bad, not bad. So, uh, if this is what we could expect, a lot of people will probably be starting in Primal Tier, I'm actually going to be happy to probably be starting in Nightmare tier because I actually get a freebie. Once I open up one pack, I should be in a Primal tier. So I'm honestly kind of happy if I do start in Nightmare tier because I'd rather get a freebie there hoping for a female. So yeah, that's one thing I would actually like to start in Nightmare tier, which probably I will be in Nightmare tier because I don't have like amazing cards. And I don't have momentum slots either. So yeah, it would benefit me. All right, so uh, we're going to see a couple more of these packs, see what he gets. EC3, and then uh, another Charlotte Flair. I like, see, like, he just got in Charlotte Flair for, like, nothing. Only cost a, a couple hundred tickets. Uh, of course, we don't know if the odds are going to be this good when the game releases, but uh, there you go, a Duke Pro already. Like, wow. I wish I had 500 tickets saved up. Unfortunately, um, taking a break does have its non-benefits, unfortunately. Uh, but Undertaker card looks uh, beautiful. So thanks, Dad, for hitting that card again. Okay, not my favorite Nightmare here because it has like a little theme of like the plants from uh, the spring theme. So I was like, eh, nothing crazy about it. Uh, the Finn Balor card looks amazing. So shout out to the Finn card. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, not bad, not bad. So, I we've seen some of the packs now. I really kind of want to get into now the other part where I would like to show you guys how Fortify works. Brock Lesnar looks good, and it barely looks fantastic. All right, guys. Now for the next part. Here is where we're going to actually see him showing the Fortify, where he fortifies his Vanguard cards. 
So as you can see here, he has a uh, Vanguard, uh, Alistair Black. I believe, I believe this is like the starter pack that you get, that he got to show everyone how to fortify cards. So we're gonna go ahead and speed through this right now. Um, he has Johnny Gargano, excellent image. Becky Lynch looks great. Uh, let's see, another Becky Lynch. He also gets uh, a couple of Nightmare cards. Uh, Eddie Guerrero looks fantastic. So I think, I think a lot of people are happy with Eddie Guerrero being in the tier. Daniel Bryan looks fantastic. Awesome looking card. Uh, the Rock, uh, honestly, the Rock. That image is pretty much our image we've already seen from The Rock. I think it's like uh, Survivor season two. So that image is literally a, a copy and paste image, just with the light background instead of like the other background. It's just, it's not that great of an image for The Rock. Uh, it's a great image, but it's like yeah, we've seen this already, unfortunately. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and check out how he fortifies. Now, I think he uh, spends the credits to max out the levels for us so we don't have to like go crazy, which is nice of Biggie Dude to do. Uh, it, it costs a lot of credits to do this, just by the way, so uh, be aware. <laughs> You're looking at like uh, 2,000 something credits to make it a certain level. I think I remember him doing like a lot of credits for it, besides this one. Now, uh, the stats go up to like 1.2, 1.3, so Vanguard obviously is going to be an amazing card to start as singles. I would recommend buying packs if you can. Uh, but I don't remember which one was it that cost like 2,000 credits. Maybe the games played is the one that cost like 2,000 credits. And it will only you only got to play 100 games to max this level of card out, so I recommend just playing the games. Uh, it's a little too expensive for everything. Now, you don't have to train up the other cards. They Super cards just told you to chuck it in. But I think my dad was curious to see uh, if it would. So uh, we're, we're gonna, he's going to go ahead and pro it right now for us so he can fortify it, you know. So uh, let's go ahead and see how the stats after he pros it and everything. So he uses the right card. It goes up to 1.4, which is pretty high. And now uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, see what everything is. So now it goes up to 1.5. Of course, he still needs to level it more. I believe it's like 1.6, 1.7K when it's max. All right, so we got 1.6. So now he's going to fortify, which if you guys want to see the animation of fortifying, I'll gladly show it to you guys right here right now. This is what fortifying looks. It looks great. I like the fortify image of like when it fortifies. Now. Fortify number one has been unlocked, so now he'll need to level it up to see the benefits of it. Obviously, uh, matches wise. So let's go ahead and check it out. I believe he's gonna train up the card. Very nice. All right, there we go. And now it went up a good amount. Good amount. Uh, nothing crazy high, but it was a good amount. But then, when you get into the next fortified levels, this card goes through the roof. So we're gonna go ahead and check out Alistair Black when he gets fortified even more. So right now his toughness is at 1.65. Uh, let's go ahead and there you go, 1.688. That went up a lot. It's like 38k it went up on one fortify so now it's 1.726 again like another 38k i believe if my math's off sorry <laughs> and now he's gonna fortify this is not trained not at all he's just gonna put it into the card boom that's it so it's been fortified now to the three times that you have in the season that's the limit three times and now he'll max it and there you go 1.766 that card has gone up a lot. So duplicates are going to f finally matter now when it comes to fortifying cards. So yeah, guys, uh, season six right around the corner. I am so pumped. I can't wait to sh give you guys all the content I can. Uh, still working on the team stuff, but my God, I am looking forward to giving you guys the most amazing content possible. So if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. We will be going live for the Road to Glory Vanguard thing. Uh, on Thursday and Friday. So guys, come on down to the stream, support your boy. And uh, come also down, uh, I'll probably be streaming Wednesday a little bit. I have to work that day. Unfortunately, I can't get the day off, but uh, I will be, uh, and of course we, we expect a long maintenance anyways, uh, maybe to go a day if possible. So 
if I'm not here Wednesday, Thursday will be the day to check me out, guys. I love you all so much. Thank you all for the love and support. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.